Now available for the first time in paperback. Stop sipping. Why men don't need finance to get romance. Learn what mistakes not to make with women in the dating scene with Stop Simping. Why men don't need finance to get romance. Available in paperback and online booksellers today. A couple of weeks ago, Ringo TV Raw did a great video on his Blackmail Advice TV channel proposing the question, what do you need a woman for? And this was a question I had to answer when I was 16 years old. Now, when I was 12 years old in junior high school, I used to have these males from these single mother households constantly harassing me about having a girlfriend. And this went on from junior high school up to high school. And it really made me anxious. And it wasn't until God had told me that I wasn't ready that I realized that I was not ready for a relationship with a woman. And this was at 16 years old. And after that had happened, and God had told me that, and I had gotten mugged on the train, and then I had moved to another school, I began to focus on the goals that I wanted to set out for my life. And one of, that, one of those goals was finishing high school. Now, when it comes down to a lot of males, they often believe that they have to have some sort of girlfriend because they believe the propaganda told to them by Madison Avenue advertisers and Hollywood movie studios in things like these teen movies, these teen sitcoms, and these television shows which always show you teenagers in relationships. And what a boy needs to be asked is that question that Ringo had asked. What do you need a woman for? When you are a boy, you really need to be focused on putting yourself first because you are not ready for a relationship. You are not ready for women. You need to get yourself to a position where you are established because once a man builds himself up, then he is ready to engage and interact with women because you're not ready for a woman at 12, 13, 14, or 15. Yeah, you can go talk to girls and fill them out and see what they're going to say and watch what they're going to do, but you are not ready for any sort of serious relationship. And as a boy, you should not be thinking about getting a girlfriend or anything like that because you should be focused on your education first and building your educational platform. And then after you finish school, start focusing on your economic platform because after God had told me I wasn't ready for a relationship and I had changed high school from Park West to Taft High School, I began to focus on my educational goals, which was getting my high school diploma, and then focusing on getting my college degree. And then after that, I began focusing on building a platform to meet my economic needs. And this is what you need to primarily focus on if you are a teenage boy right now and if you are a young man right now. Because what I've learned over the years is this like attracts like and if you are building yourself up the instead of you chasing women the women will be following you and you will be establishing yourself as a leader and that's what you want to establish yourself as is a leader because women follow leaders women of character women of good values women of a strong moral position they look for a man to follow and you want to be the kind of leader that attracts women who will want to follow you and who will want to be a help me and a support to you because if you follow the path of Madison Avenue in Hollywood and go out here and you go out here and you start running behind women you are putting yourself into a position of weakness because instead of you being a leader you are gonna become a follower and you're gonna be chasing behind women and chasing behind these teenage girls, inflating their ego, making them believe that they have a higher value than what they have, and worse, you're going to be dictated to by these females and doing things on their terms and submitting to them on their terms. And that's not how God established his natural order. He meant for men to be leaders and men to be the ones in charge of things. So. A man who works towards his education and building himself up will present himself 
as a leader. And instead of him chasing after women who look pretty on the outside, he will be dealing with women who are following behind him and who are attracted to his internal character traits and who will see him as a builder and see him as someone who they want to follow, someone who they want to work with, someone who they want to build with. And you want the type of woman who will help you build something because the female who helps you build will help you build something like a business and a family. And these institutions will allow you to lay that foundation that builds for it something strong and something that will last. This is what you want to focus on. You don't need a, a woman until you have finished establishing yourself. Once you have established yourself, then you are ready for a relationship with women. And I remember when God told me I was ready for women, and it was like 27 years old. This was after I had finished my term with the Miracle of Vista. That's when he said I was ready for relationships with women. Now, I don't deal with women in my neighborhood right now because I see the women in my neighborhood, and many of them are dysfunctional. I don't see anyone that is ready, that I, that I see as capable of being a suitable help me and a support. And right now, I really want to get my money and my economic situation right so that I can be the leader and the head of a family. And that's what you want a relationship with a woman for. You want someone who is going to help you move ahead, help you build something, help you lay that foundation for something. You don't want to deal with some female who you have to f chase behind because if she becomes the leader, she is going to tear you down. And you really don't want a woman who tears you down. You want to be with women who are going to build you up. You want to deal with girls who want to build you up. Really, you shouldn't be dealing with them until you are at that position of readiness. Because, again, it's about where God says you're ready, not when Madison Avenue and Hollywood tell you you should be out here dating. It's about God telling you when you are ready for a relationship and when you are ready to interact with, with women. Because you really want to deal with women. You don't want to deal with immature girls and dealing with things on their terms. You want to deal with a woman because the things of a woman are related towards building things and build and supporting things. She's going to want to work with you and cooperate with you, not be out here looking for you to please her and make her happy. She, a woman understands her role is to work with her man towards building the family and supporting the family, while these females who are out here who are immature they're looking for some guy to please them, and you want to deal with a woman when you are ready for a woman, and that is, again, when you have established yourself, when you have laid the foundation for, from your education, for your financial situation, and you are in a place when you are ready to deal with a woman on your terms, not her terms, and not submit to her, because she sees submission as a form of weakness. You want to come from a position of strength because women want to see men being hard and being strong because they want to trust a man and see that this man is going to be stable and solid and that's when they can feel confident and secure in that man. They don't want to see a guy who they can push around and do things to because that's, that's a weak man to them. And too many men who grew up watching these teen movies and these television shows they were socially engineered to believe that coming from a position of weakness is normal. And a lot of these guys who come from these single mother households grow up believe coming from a position of a weak, position of weakness is normal. Now, when you read the Bible, you understand what, what the position of strength is because in God's natural order, there is always strength. And when a man comes from God's natural order, he is going to be seen as a leader people respect and people regard and women will see as someone they respect and they regard and someone who they will see as a leader they want to follow. If you'd like to see me make more of these videos you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box and if you want to break away from the dysfunctional paradigm of simps you may go pick up my ebook Stop Simpin and the paperback Stop Simpin why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance on Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.